This week at the NCPA, President and CEO Alan West spent a busy week in our nation's capital doing interviews with Fox News channels on the record with Greta Van Susteren, other media, and with Capitol Hill meetings. We've been up on the Hill today making a bunch of visits. Yeah, I've been up here for the past couple of days uh, talking to several chairmen, uh, the chairman of the Financial Services Committee, Budget Committee, also talked to a couple of people on the Senate side. Some of the key things we're looking at is, of course, the King versus Burwell case, as well as what we need to be doing is when we look at our budget resolutions and how do we make sure that the mandatory spending side of our budget, which is about 62 to 63 percent, is taken care of and it is addressed. We need to have the courageous leadership to do that. And as well, while I was up here, I had the opportunity to speak at a luncheon for the Congressional Prayer Caucus Foundation, which I think uh, religious liberty is very near and dear and very important. Uh, topic for this country. Senior fellow John R. Graham is following King v. Burwell very closely, writing extensively, and is prepared with expert analysis on the upcoming Supreme Court ruling. In a few days, we're expecting the Supreme Court to make a decision on King v. Burwell, the lawsuit which asserts that in at least 34 states, the administration is paying Obamacare tax credits illegally. This provides a great opportunity to make significant changes to Obamacare through legislation. We're proposing six changes. I'll tell you about one of them. This year, Obamacare will spend about $21 billion of federal tax credits on Obamacare exchanges. Every single penny of that goes to health insurers. Not one penny goes to patients directly. One change we're recommending is to give at least some of that money to the patients directly that they can spend on health care that they decide they need. Colonel West on Fox and Friends examined the HUD move to force integration in some neighborhoods. So what they're doing is coming up with rules from the housing and urban development that will be tied to funding uh, under the quote unquote Fair Housing Act to try to get uh, force integration. What I think this is, is social egalitarianism and also the equality of outcomes instead of talking about better opportunities. Distinguished fellow Bob McTeer did several interviews on the growing interest rate debate. For several years, it's been zero to a quarter percent. If you made it quarter percent or even half percent, you know, that's still ridiculously low. And uh, it would just be a baby step toward normalization. I, I just can't see how that it could make that much uh, that much difference after the first few hours. Well, I don't think there's, they're in danger of too early tightening. <laughs> they may be in danger of too late tightening. Our Ask the NCPA campaign featuring senior fellow Devin Herrick this week has done tremendously well. Social media outreach jumped more than 200%. New research published this week includes studies on unemployment benefits and one on cash incentives for education. We owe the NCPA's successes to you. Without your support, none of this would be possible. Thank you from America's Think Tank.